So, we are back here again. I don't have oranges. Uh, onion? Since the last time, I was sat here with my keyboard. You might see there's some changes happened already. Namely, the keycaps have been removed and sent back. The customer protection here is quite good, so within 30 days you can you can return anything uh, if it's if it's you know in good condition. Because I did not like the font or how it looked, but that of course means that we still have the problem of fading in these ABS keycaps. But lo and behold, I will try with another pair of keycaps. This time from Glorious, which it's the same brand as the O-rings, but that's not like they just work in this industry. That's <laughs> I'm still not sponsored. I'm still I'm still not still not getting sponsored, am I? I still don't have spon <laughs> but these were like the only other type of PBT keycaps that have glowy edges. The font on these looks much better. By the way, I did order O-rings that are much thicker. This, this, these are thick. Right, so this, I forgot to mention, these are Glorious Aura keycaps. This is the US ANSI layout, but I think this should also include the US ISO enter and shift keys because uh, that's what it showed in the product page. It has a fancy fla flap with a tab you can pull. And ooh! Oh, that's cool. They come in like hard plastic molds. They do also have a keycap puller. Shh, shh, it's fine. I'm just struggling a little bit. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. So, this is the enter key for ANSI type layouts, which this current specific keyboard isn't um, and this is the enter key for ISO type keyboards this one but this will slot there nicely there, there, there on top of like in this room. you'll see I've set up a sound test now first we have without any o-rings with one thin o-ring then with two thin o-rings and then with one thick o-ring almost sounds like that like the two thins are quieter than the thick one so it depends always on the keycaps and the thickness and everything your mileage will vary probably here's another sound test of one thick o-ring compared to a thick and a thin o-ring so only thick And thick and thin. So it actually, to me, seems like a thick and thin would be the best combination for this keyboard and keys keycap set.
keys in the boxes are placed very nicely uh, row by row actually so that the replacement continues from from the number row uh, all the way to the numpad and the numpad keys are not just sitting somewhere different which helps you can just do it uh, key by key like this is originally a Nordic layout keyboard and this keycap set is a US layout keyboard so that helps me with knowing where the symbols go In the process I came to the conclusion that the keycap puller was too stiff for the old ABS keys. It would leave marks on the sides when I used it. So I switched to doing it by hand. Unlike the Steel Series keycaps, this set did have uh, wider keycaps for the list and function keys on the right side of the spacebar, which doesn't leave gaps there now but then similarly to the steel series keycaps the caps lock key does not sit in in the position that the native one does so it does protrude a little bit outwards to the side here and i think the lighting looks a little bit brighter in this one which i like both through the keys and and surrounding them this is in bright daylight the brightest setting on this keyboard. 